You're watching the Singing Toad YouTube channel. Howdy folks, Singing Toad here. Thank you very much for watching my channel today and I hope you're having an absolute enchanting day. So today is going to be another rendition of Thankful Thursday. And uh, what, a, what a doozy I have today. Uh, folks, I got this knife in uh, as a gift uh, from a very special member of the community. Um, you know, a good friend, uh, a mentor, uh, a supporter, uh, and, and just, uh, just someone who I, I, I look up to and, uh, and I can't thank enough. And even before he sent me this as a gift, uh, I already had, uh, high, uh, regard for and, uh, and great respect for. And, uh, that individual is Tom over at Knife Delights. So I'm going to go ahead and place Tom's sticker down there. And for those of you who don't know who Tom is, please go check out his channel, Knife Delights. He also has another channel called History Delights. And if you're like me and you like history, you'll want to check that channel out. Great content there as well. But uh, I'm just blown away, folks. Um, so... <laughs> I get this package in the mail, and uh, and I'm like, what is this? And inside is this box. Now, the box is a little bit banged up. It was The package was a little bit flattened, unfortunately. Thank you, Canada Post, for doing a super awesome job in treating this with respect. That's a joke. Um, but what do we have here? We have this Case and Sons uh, knife, and, uh, yeah. And that's what that side of the box looks like made in the USA super awesome but uh, there's a the cat out of the bag emerald green bone smooth medium Texas Jack but we're not here to talk about boxes we're here to talk about the knife and uh, I tell you what folks this camera is just not doing this justice this thing is so pretty um, I took this thing outside and had to look at it in the sunlight and just the way the Sun glistens on this bone is super super pretty and uh, you know you really have to look hard to find any sort of flaw with this knife uh, there's no light that passes through it fit and finish is outstanding both the blades are perfectly centered and uh, I mean just absolute stunning and beauty so, here and this little you know, folks, I just got to say, we talk about kindness, thankfulness, gratitude in this community, and I really can't express enough just how true that actually is. And uh, again, thank you so much, Tom, for sending this along. But let's go ahead and take a look at the knife. So we have a clip point blade, and uh, of course there's a fingerprint magnet because it's a uh, it's, it is a stainless steel. And there's probably a ton of glare there. Um, how many dots does that thing have? I'm going to have to come off the camera here to count the dots. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like it's got seven dots. I don't know if you can see that or not there. Looks to me like it's got seven dots, so I'm not exactly sure what the age of this knife is. But for those of you who are case aficionados, you'll be able to tell me exactly what that means. But it has a clip point blade, and then it has the pen blade, and then on this side, it is stamped USA, and then 620, uh, it was an 87, and then, it's hard to see down there, but it does, actually if I move it up a little bit, you can see it better, you see SS for stainless steel, so this is a stainless steel, uh, not a carbon steel, and of course it is an absolute fingerprint magnet. I have gone ahead and sharpened this knife. Uh, and uh, one thing I wanted to point out is that on this side the blade stain is just a little bit proud so you kind of can get your fingernail under there if you really try but it's not going to grab a hold of you so I mean I can rub my finger along that it's not going to catch on my finger so it's not it's not dangerous or unsafe but it is just a, a little bit proud there on that side which doesn't bother me at all but look at that bone folks I mean isn't that pretty or what and again, forgive me, the camera just really isn't doing justice just how pretty this thing is. And, uh, you know, actually, if I can grab out another knife here, 
what I thought I would do is show this is uh, the case uh, pocket hunter this is the Ithaca series um, and if you can just see the fit and finish on uh, on this knife here see how the blades are perfectly straight and you got this nice brass liners in the background here and you got these kind of this these liners on the inside here and then we look at this one but you can see just how immaculate this knife is much the same as this one so outstanding uh, you know I have three case knives actually let me show my third one here while I, while I have it out, here's my third case knife. This is the Sodbuster. Now the Sodbuster, the blade is leaning over uh, to the one side just a little bit. It's not rubbing, but it's just, it's almost there. It's, there's just a teeny tiny little gap. I don't know if you can see that or not. But, uh, you know, that's the Sodbuster. But those are my three case knives that I currently have in my collection. And uh, this is the, uh, the Texas Mini Jack, which is a pattern that's all new to me altogether. So... Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and just open the blades up. And I'm just going to place that down there. And we'll just have the other case knives here for reference. But, uh, yeah. Folks, <laughs> I had to wait some time to film this video because I was struggling with what I wanted to say and how I wanted to say it without sounding like someone who was just bent all over himself um, and tripping up uh, and emotional because I'm just blown away you know and even now I'm starting to get choked up a little bit here I'm so thankful for the friends that I've made in this community folks and, uh, and I can't thank enough you know the people that I've gotten to know uh, and the kindness that exists out there you know, Tom is definitely one of the peddlers of this knife community. Um, but uh, there are many other people here that are super awesome too. And uh, for all of you watching, you know, although I'm highlighting Tom today, I'd like to thank each and every one of you. You're all super awesome. Never forget that. So again, thank you very much, Tom. This knife will stay in my collection forever and be cherished every day. Much like I cherish you, Tom. Thank you. That's all I got for you today, folks. Thanks for watching my Thankful Thursday video. Take good care, my friends. Singing Toad, signing out.